My name's Helen Sear and I'm, a, I'm an artist who originally studied fine art over 35 years ago now, but I work predominantly with um, photography, sound and moving image video work. Um, I started making um, installation art in the 1980s, which were kind of immersive environments where the audience entered the frame of the artwork. Okay. Prospect Refuge Hazard was the title that I chose for this exhibition. Um, partly because of a book that I'd read by the Yorkshire man Jay Appleton um, back in the 1990s called The Experience of Landscape. And I, I got very excited about it at the time because he was talking about um, the idea of a prospect being somewhere where you looked out onto and it was a view over a landscape. The refuge was to do with the idea of having some, somewhere where you could look out but not be seen. And the third bit, the hazard, was anything that might actually be dangerous to this situation. So what he was trying to do was to talk about the idea that beauty or aesthetics might be related to something very primal to do with early man's survival. Wahaha Biota um, is the title of a film that I made after spending a one year residency up in Dolby Forest in North Yorkshire in collaboration with the Forestry Commission and um, Crescent Arts. And for a year I was following around all the different um, people who worked in the forest. And I was trying to find out all these things that were kind of hidden, um, hidden but um, they were happening every day. They were like normal, normal activities within the forest. Um, and I had this idea because there were a lot of concerts that they played up in the forest. I did some research to find out all the bands that had ever played in the forest. And myself and, and an assistant, we went through, in fact my assistant went through all the lyrics of all the, of all the songs. And we kind of um, took out all the words that kind of resonated with the natural surroundings. And then we put these on sheets of paper and we, we went up at three o'clock in the morning when there was the dawn chorus. And we, we had about eight or nine of us walking around in this forest clearing at dawn, reading these words. And at the same time we were recording the birds and the deer barking and all these kind of things. Um, and that became the basis of the soundtrack. <laughs> making, capturing all the moving image work, there were times when we went to locations and I also had my still camera with me. And in fact, this was how we first found the location for the moving image work. And so I, I was taking still photographs throughout the time I was resident as well. And it was really only after I finished the film that I started to look at these pictures and realised they were really interesting to look at in a different way. So we decided that this would be really appropriate to show these for the first time at Impressions. So we've got the film and the still photographs showing together. And they have a relationship again between photography and painting, which is something that's really, really interesting for me. And I know I talk, we talked a little bit about prospect refuge theory, and that was, that was very much came out of the aesthetics of painting. So painting, the relationship between painting and photography has always been interesting. And so this literal idea of people going into the forest and throwing bits of paint at, shooting each other with, with, with colored paint. And then I've treated some of these, um, 
photographs in post-production with a kind of digital spray paint. So I've kind of affected, so, so I've, it's not obvious, but it's in there in a way.